Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about this wig right here. I'm going to go ahead and let um, my first impression roll first before I get into the final and why it's not on my head anymore. <laughs> Whew. So let's get into that <laughs> and I'll be back shortly with my final testament. My channel my name is Jalea if you're new here welcome stick around we're gonna get into some things we're gonna get some things first thing you're gonna notice is why your lips look like this because I'm about to put on a wig and I don't put on my lip gloss you know my lip gloss but we're gonna get into that later and I'm about to put on a wig so I don't really want to get the gloss on and have the wig stick into my lips so we're gonna look a little bit of a mess right now and then secondly you're noticing this this bonnet okay this is from Molly collection you can use top code Kyrie for money off I'll put Kyrie on the screen right here so you can know proper spelling and there'll also be a link to this bonnet in the description. Now we got that out of the way, I am working with Ebony Line today to review this wig right here. Her name is Jolene. 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 Yeah, this is an extreme part lace front. It comes in two braids and I got, I want to step outside the box. I want to step up outside of the box. So I got me 613. My hair was blonde a little bit ago, but now it's black, and I kind of miss the blonde. I do have a blonde wig, but it's shorter, so this longer blonde wig should be perfect. Um, yeah, so shout out to Ebony Line for um, sending me this wig. The link for it will be in the description, and yeah, let's get it right into it. It says that it is dual styling and rival braids for big glam curls. Um, it's a human hair blend. And yeah. Oh, and it comes pre plugged, it says. They be lying. Anything I say is pre plugged is not pre plugged. They, they, I know you lying. Okay, so yeah, this wig is like parted all the way down the back for these two braids. But yeah, the ends are. I kind of play, I opened it up because I wanted to feel what it felt like. So I opened this one up and I kind of played with this in this hair. It don't, it don't, it feels like a blown out yakky texture, if that makes sense. I'm about to like Pippi Longstocking. Oh, there's back lace too. I guess, um, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna put it on, we're gonna talk about that because I don't think that's it. I don't. So I'm just gonna throw it on with the lace and everything intact though. We ain't throwing nothing on. I'm gonna throw it on with the lace and everything intact and we're gonna see what I, what it looks like. you on this wig because I looked it up before I, I told him I wanted this one and this girl said she wanted to wear the braids out she wanted to wear this like this I mean I guess that's your cup of tea but like no ma'am no ma'am not for me this is not the intended style for this it's for me it's not gonna happen I'm gonna I'm unravel it but I, I said something about the back <laughs> and I just wanted to be acknowledged real quickly try to make sure it's out all the way Cause it's, mm, girl, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, let's turn around. You see this little, I guess they got like back bangs. You know, like when you was a king, you put your hair in a pony. What was the goal? What was the intended purpose of that? I don't know, but okay. I think I'm going to wait until I, uh, Oh girl, I think I'm gonna wait until I, I cut the lace and lay this down before I undo the braids so so it can get out my way and I can just focus on trying to make this presentable. Um, part of me wants to pluck this, part of me doesn't want to because I just know that there's no point like, cause I'm be brushing out the stray hairs, so it's gonna make this poofy and then you know when you run your fingers through a wig a synthetic wig a lot 
it just gets bigger and nastier and I don't even want to deal with that so I can't pluck this but this little front part right here if you can see this this doesn't look too bad but these sides honey child we're gonna we go see what I'm gonna do we're gonna see if I can work with this and I think I can I just gotta yeah this going this this ain't and it's just it's just the middle part too and the part go all the way to the back so I hope when I unbraid this like I can hide this in the back my girl look happy about it though she said <laughs> honey okay so I'm gonna speed through me doing all I gotta do to get take care of this and then I'll come back when I unravel the braids <laughs> I like Wendy I said <laughs> okay uh oh before I get into like um fixing this up I gotta talk about this back again I don't understand what the, the goal was because obviously you can see all of this right here and so even if you did have this in two braids like they they wanted you to like this wouldn't even look right I don't understand like I think I'm just gonna cut it off because they're like individually knotted into this lace part right here okay now I can better explain what I was talking about see how this is just on the lace like these this wasn't it so I can't really grab out my sections of hair okay yeah, I'm gonna undo this side okay come through waves they said curls but these is waves child <laughs> oh these is waves but okay I feel like a little bombshell or something it's probably don't look key in the camera but in this mirror I'm looking at this right behind my camera I feel like this is really pretty yeah I think I won't even add that much baby hair or nothing for real for real because yeah like this this I'm not gonna say it's pre-plugged because that's a goddamn line that's a gosh darn line <laughs> um but it doesn't look bad and I didn't glue it or nothing so like I can just easily but like even though it's laying there it doesn't look bad I think I will add some like slight baby hairs, but nothing too crazy. I don't want my run my fingers through, through that too much, so I'm just gonna like play around with it a little bit. Like, but yeah, this this is way better than Pippi Long stocking over here. This is cute. I could be tweaking though, but I also realized that blonde wigs aren't all. They're always gonna look like a wig. Um, them blonde frontals that you be seeing when somebody takes a picture of them. It just looked like it looked like this and that's the tea they're cute don't get me wrong they're super cute but do they not look like a wig no all blonde wigs usually look like a wig at least from far away you know what i mean let me get this other one undone i like this mistakes I made I use Gorilla Sun on my edges on a blonde wig and I, I use my face concealer instead of a lighter concealer on my part and I don't look that cute okay now I can put on my gloss um plug um hi I'm Jalea and I'm the owner of JLS Cosmetics and I'm gonna go ahead and, and put some on real quick for you before I talk about it
I shouldn't have let my lips, lip liner sit that long because now it's a little darker than what I imagined in my head. But look, this is okay because I got a I gloss this color. I literally have a gloss color. I want to wear this gloss like over there. But anyway, see, I'm just making mistakes in this video and that's okay. I'm going to leave them all in because we make mistakes as people. We're human. But anyway. You see that? No stick. And I know you hate a sticky gloss because I hate a sticky gloss. I hate a sticky gloss. I have grapeseed oil, which is a great source of vitamin E, which is good for moisturizing. It penetrates your lips and it leaves you moisturized all day. Even when this dries up, you don't feel the need to apply it again, even though you will. You don't feel the need to apply it again. Like you feel good, you feel set. So with that being said, if you haven't purchased your OG gloss, or your that girl gloss, or your it girl gloss, or your highlighter, we have highlighters too. If you haven't purchased any of those, you're missing out. You're missing out. Okay, so yeah, final thoughts on this wig. I'll come back and do after I come home. Okay, now that you've seen the beginning and how I didn't come back that night, because girl, I got home at like 5 in the morning. It was slow. So here I am about a week later. And um, I guess this is the update part of the video as well. Um, I really liked this wig. I want to start off by saying that um, shout out to Ebony Line once again for sending me this wig. Um, they're my first brand to work with me, so I'm very happy for that. And I'm very sad that it wasn't the way I thought it was going to be. Because I really did like the wig. Like, if you saw, I was I was really feeling it. And, um, you know, I did my business. I came back. And I only wore this wig once. I want to emphasize I only wore this wig once. And I'm really disappointed. Um... I didn't, I didn't brush it out initially because I wanted to keep the curl pattern in it. And so now I have my Good Sis Aqua once again. And um, like I was saying, I, I wanted to keep the curl pattern in it. So I didn't brush it out at the time. And I didn't think it would be a problem later on down the line. And I don't think brushing it out initially would have been a good idea either. So let's talk about the current state of this wig. Um, I'll, I'll hold her up for you. She doesn't look bad. Um, if you don't mind a little frizz, if you don't mind um, a little bit of tangle, but the curls are still intact, then this wig is for you. If you're not picky and you can deal, you can hang, this wig is for you. If you're like me and like to touch your hair a lot, like to run your fingers through it, this ain't the wig for you. Um, I really wanted to keep wearing this wig because like I said, and it, it's, I, I haven't touched it since then after I tried to brush it out, which I want to get into. Um, and it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look horrible until I, I brushed the side of it because I thought maybe that would help you. Ooh, ooh, until I brushed the side of it. And when I say this didn't brush through, it didn't brush through. Um, it just made it thick and frizzy. And you still can't even, like, I know this isn't the type of wig to run your fingers through, but just the fact that these curls are all that's, that's there and a lot of frizz. I don't even know if you guys can see. I hate when I use frizz call you guys, you guys. Like, girl, I'm talking to myself right now. I don't even know if this is visible, <laughs> if this is visible to the camera. But just looking at it right here, like, all of these stray hairs just coming up out of it. And I thought maybe brushing it would just... Because you know when you brush a synthetic wig, usually you brush it out and give it a little shake. And then the curls form back up again. I thought that was what was going to happen with this. No ma'am. No ma'am, that didn't happen. So... With that all being said, um, I just, I just want to emphasize if you don't mind like a little bit of frizz, then maybe this wig is for you. It just is not for me. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a rating anyway of my scale of 1 to 5 on the, um, the 5 ways to know if a synthetic wig is worth it or not. Um, I believe the first one is Sean, but I'm going to go to my notes real quick to just confirm. So the first thing on this list was parting space. Um, this part goes all the way to the back of the head if you saw in the previous, um, the previous video, not the previous video, but like the clip I had before me initially trying it on. It came in two um, braids and you could wear it like that in two braids, but I felt like I looked like Pippi Longstocking so that I had to get going. And so I undid it, which was also a way to style the wig and um, it turned out like this. The part 
in the back is um, completely covered once you opened up the um, braids and then the part itself stops about right here which I think is really fantastic I love a far back part um, you guys should know that by now I love 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 a far back part and yeah so that was nice for me the shine level on this I really liked it it wasn't a shine it was a luster oh I didn't even give it a rating the part was a 5 out of 5 the shine level was really nice um, 5 out of 5 as well. We're going to get into these tangles, which I again said were horrible. I could not even brush out this section. The, the brush kind of just grazed over it and then made the curl fluffy. So I didn't even like attempt to, to brush out the rest of the section. So you can just see from this right here how it turned out. And then compare it to like this side, how the curls are tightly done together. But you know, like, like I, how I said previously that um, when you brush out a synthetic wig, the curls usually just come back together. Usually, in my personal experience, that absolutely did not happen with this. It's just really disappointing for me because I really wanted this wig to work out. But um, as for shedding, I don't think I received any shedding even while brushing this out because you know, again, it didn't get to brush out. So, you know, yeah, let me just try to pull a little bit. You know, I'm not getting any shedding personally because also I wore it one night and I didn't brush through it. So, no shedding personally. So, I'll give it a, a 4 out of 5 because I just know if I brush this bad boy out for real, for real, it will be shedding galore. As for longevity, I give this a big fat 0. I never thought <laughs> the day would come where I'd give a wig a 0 for longevity, but I would never wear this wig again. Um... I just wish that you guys could see the amount of frizz that is just popping out and the fact that I can I can't even like brush through it and and it, and oh yeah this is a human hair blend I've totally forgot to mention this. this is a human hair blend so for it to be a human hair blend wig the way it looks and spend my money on this because I would have been thoroughly disappointed personally if you don't mind a little bit of frizz a little bit of, a little bit of uh, tangles you know if you could wear your wig like this and don't care this shoe by all means i'll leave a link to this wig in the description box you can get it in a um a two or a, um one or one b you know natural colors i want to just be different i want to something out my box so this is what i came up with and yeah really disappointed because i really wanted this guy to work out but she didn't for me there's the end of this video i recorded this video about a week ago and i've had lots of difficulties trying to um film again um my life oh oh me before i start saying this this is the end of my video if you're just here for the review i'm just about talking about my channel and my life and if you don't care skedaddle bitch ass nigga y'all niggas can't be around here no more dog skedaddle get the fuck out of here get the fucking moving dog get fucking daddle so if you do care you want to stick around um it was really hard for me to get back on my YouTube grind for real because, I don't know, I, it's not, how do I put this? It's hard to be consistent with something you're not getting something out of, you know what I mean? Like, when you go to work, like, your job is, you're, you get paid by your job, right? I don't get paid by YouTube yet, so, like, the consistency I'm doing isn't really normal for those who aren't getting paid yet, I realize. Like, I know a lot of people that don't get paid by YouTube upload like maybe like once a month and I know that I, by me uploading consistently I'm growing my my following I'm not at all doing this for money like um like I know a lot of people wanted me to start a channel in the first place so I did it for for those people that want to know how I do my makeup how I do my hair like um so it was never for the money but just consistently putting your time into something that you're not getting a return on investment in it's kind of difficult in a sense and it's not that I want to stop, it's just I'm trying to keep up the motivation and keep going. But I did, I, by the time this video goes up, I'll probably have 800 subscribers, so that's amazing. Like, just even thinking about that, it doesn't seem like a lot to most people, but I've only been doing this for about three months. And this will be going on four once this video uploads. So, in just three months of consistency, I can just tell that I'm, that in itself is a return on investment, but you know... When you're just looking at it, like, damn, I'm putting all this time into it, and I'm not really getting anything out of this. But, you know, like, I just got my first, um, item sent to me. Like, that's something. I, I'm about to hit 800 subscribers. That's something. So, I just need to stop 
um, being too hard on myself and just trying to find reasons to not do something that I know is going to end up being great. So I'm working on that and hopefully I can keep up this momentum and keep uploading. I will have a video up this same week as well. Hopefully this video will be up tomorrow which is Tuesday. Hopefully this video will be up on Tuesday and then I'll have another video up on Thursday about how I got this hair. Um, yeah I just finished recording how I got this hair so hopefully that video should be up on Thursday and I can keep up my two videos a week which is really hard for me so you know try to fight through the pain and hopefully I can keep, keep up the great content and stay motivated so yeah, that's all I gotta say sorry for rambling a little bit there if you stayed here thank you so much and I hope you understand where I'm coming from and hope that um, you know, if there's anything you want to see to help me out, because, you know, just bringing out different videos multiple times a week that I've been trying to do, or at least once a week, like every week consistently, it's hard to think about ideas. So if you have any ideas for me, what you want to see, let me know. I know I'm going to do a video on how to make your um, synthetic wig look natural. I know I'm going to do that for sure, so that's going to come up after this video goes up. And after that, I have a few things in my notes that I want to get down, but... It would be great if you guys let me know what you want to <laughs> My um, brain is running a little low on this, I guess. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say now. Thank you for watching. If you watched this far, leave a like. Leave a comment of what you want to see from me next. And hopefully I can get that out for you. So, thank you for, keep, for subscribing to me in advance. Because I know you will. And I keep rambling. I keep saying, and let's shut up, girl. Okay. Bye, beautiful. <laughs>